All right. This is, uh, look, one of the things that Marvel's done that I've vehemently disagreed with, even if I've had to come into conflict with uh, other people, even my own audience, and uh, argue with them as the lawnmower go- gets louder and louder. Um, <laughs> what I am saying is this. Spider-Man has been cheapened. The introduction of Web of Spiders and Spider-Verse stuff, it's cheap, it's lazy, it's boring me to death, but we continue to get more of it because these guys are fresh out of ideas. Um, and it's it's a move that is not for readers. I know they like to think that it is, but this is not for readers. This is for Twitter. This is for TikTok. This is for headlines. Uh, we've covered that. We've covered uh, writers who specifically talk about getting headlines and why aren't we getting headlines when they make some sex change or something like this is the reason why they do it. They do this for people that do not read books and you will have to understand why I have an issue with multiverses and what my position is. And this is just yet another example of it. Marvel has introduced the seven billionth Spider-Man and this one is a homosexual. Marvel introduces its first gay Spider-Man. I would have said Miles Morales. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, as the latest Spider-Verse variant. And Marvel will introduce his first Spider-Man, a new character. He's not... To stop saying... Introduce a Spider-Man who is a new character. By textbook definition, he cannot be that. He's a knockoff. He's a tokenization, but he is not a new character by any means. He is, as you are announcing it, as you got your access, CBR, a a tokenized gay Spider-Man, not a new character. They call him Web Weaver is the name of it. And uh, of course, the Twitter, the person that I guess wrote it, I think it, I think that person's gay, probably some sort of self-insert of some sort. Edge of Spider-Verse, issue number five, writer Steve Fox shared an image of Marvel's first gay Spider-Man web weaver onto his Twitter account. Something I realized immediately when conceiving web weaver is that he can't and shouldn't represent all gay men. No single story can. His fearless film identity is central to who he is. But it's not the story. Then why are you fucking telling us about it? Why, 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 why are you announcing that you have a sexuality changed Spider-Man if that ain't the story? That is the, that's the only reason why he exists. You may try to tell some like story with it, but it's. You said something I realized immediately we're conceiving them. And then he goes on. He says, uh, I guess this is the artist. Web Weaver says, my design of the brand new Spider-Man. Surprise, as Steve says, I had the huge gay honor of helping co-create Web Weaver. And everybody, that's what they're leading with. Gay, gay, gay. It's a gay Spider-Man. And he's gay as shit. If you look at like, look, you look at this. Like flamboyant. Like, he's, like, stereotypically gay. And he's a Spider-Man. Like, look at his, like, man, man, how he's got his head on his hip and shit. It's like, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, look at this. This cover right here. And, like, how, how, how like... Like this, yeah, it, you didn't need to tell me that the character was gay. I could have picked that up by just looking at this. As soon as I would have saw that, I'd be like, yeah, whatever that is, it's, it's probably homosexual. And it, it pisses me off. I know some people are going to look at, talk about the color scheme. And yeah, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> 
I know. Uh, they're saying that Fox initially um, announced that Web Weaver would debut uh, in Edge of Spider on June 16th. Um, he also posted, of course, the information. Uh, oh, it's co-written by Dan Slott. Of course it was. And here's a synopsis. It says three brand new spiders get their start here. So we got a, a few new uh, tokenizations. Um, and we have uh, Web Weaver, a not so mild manner fashion designer who gets the spiders powers and shows us very different kind of spider slayer. Yeah, it's gay. And yeah, you couldn't have picked a gayer thing to do, I guess, as well. Um, man, it's like a stereotypical like fashion designer. Like, oh man. <laughs> oh man, it's it's uh, yeah. You, you again, you could have just led with that. We would have known that the, that that character was homosexual. It's like stereotypically gay. You are not ready for the most hardcore spider yet. I would not use that type of uh, language uh, when describing. The character as such wouldn't recommend too late now. You already did it. Um, so, yeah, there is a new Spider-Man. Which is oxymoronic. And it's a gay fashion designer. Going by the name of Web Weaver. Never mind what you feel about the character itself. I mean, gay character, whatever, I guess. But it's the fact that, look, man, Spider-Man is so cheap now, man. What went from what should have been a very unique experience, it should be only one of those, considering who Peter Parker, it is unique to Peter Parker, considering uh, how that was conceptualized by him, doing wrestling stuff and his experience with the death of his uncle and, Spider-Man is Peter Parker. There is no other other Spider-Man. It's it's Peter Parker, not uh, 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 Peter Darker, and uh, A.K.A. Miles Morales. It's not him. It's not these very other variant versions of of Spider folk. It's only Peter Parker. But with the introduction of this 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 Spider Verse thing, and I know people are gonna bring up twenty ninety nine, but look at the the the, the whole web. It's like. They're Aunt May's a Spider-Man. Like, there's so many different, like, very, you got, of course, into Spider-Verse, which is a movie that's very overrated to me that some of y'all like. And that because showed y'all some of them with Gwen, which I don't think they call her Spider-Gwen anymore. She's now Spider-Ghost uh, Spider or whatever, you know, and Damn Pig and Spider-Noir. And then there's the Transformer Spider, uh, Spider-Man. And uh, there's just all these different Spider-Folk which is just different versions of Spider-Man. That's all it is. It it cheapens the character more than they've already done it. I mean, never mind them having they're fitting 50 books with these characters, right? I don't know how many. I don't, I don't buy Marvel comic books anymore. And when I did, I, I remember I did that video. Y'all can go look on it. And so this isn't a new concept for me. I have done several videos on this. I did one video talk like I, I, back when I used to do my stand-up videos talking about comic stuff. And I, yeah, I can't remember what it's called. It was like uh, uh, oversaturated Spider-Man or some stuff like that. And I went through just the various amount of books that at that time, there were so many Spider-Folk books that were out. And it cheapens the character. The uniqueness is uh, is gone. And it's not done for readers because that's not a creative thing. Often this is stuff that gets rejected anyway. It's something for normies. Um, it's something for them because they like that type of stuff. Like they have no source of um, like a, a like frame of reference. So when you have a frame of reference and you're knowledgeable in this stuff, like that type of doing that type of weird stuff, be like, well, why is there a web of spider? It doesn't make sense. But when you don't have a frame of reference and all you think Spider Man, you just think guy in a red and blue suit web slinging. Then yeah, you think another version of that is cool. That's who that stuff is done for. But, uh, yeah, June 16th uh, or something like that, I guess, you guys, or July, excuse me. Um, well, I don't know when it when it said it uh, is created. 
Uh, but Edge of Spider-Verse issue five, I don't know when it's come out or if it's about to come out. If you want a flamboyantly homosexual Spider-Man, uh, now you have one that's specifically geared for you. <laughs> Good luck. You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Ken and sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 PM central on youtube.com slash young ripper five nine and odyssey.com slash at young ripper five nine. Be sure to check out my website, eric So you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.